Engineering majors make money. Finance majors make money. Pharmacy majors are rolling in cash like Scrooge McDuck. And these guys can all get jobs whenever they want. But you know what major would be suicide to pick? Liberal studies. You'll be poor. You'll never get a job. You'll hate yourself. And everyone else will hate you too. In fact, look at this chart. Liberal studies majors only average $55,000 a year. Alas, it's time for someone with actual expertise there's a big old spider over there. To speak on the topic of build it yourself majors. I personally ran the world's largest liberal studies style degree program when I was the chair for interdisciplinary studies at Liberty University. And I had 5,000 students in the program, but people were doubting it all the time. And yet the program kept growing and I kept sending students off into great jobs and to med school and to law school and to counseling grad programs, even into technology and anything else you can think of. And with College Hacked, I've helped literally hundreds, if not thousands of clients and viewers accomplish their specific goals with liberal studies. Not that that's the only major that we help people to accomplish, but it's a popular one. And yet I get comments and I see videos or listen all the time that poop on this major without knowing what they're talking about. So today we're setting the record straight. And first we're gonna talk about positives and then we'll drill down on why this graph is crap. First, you can build your own major, which is why we call it a Chipotle degree around these parts, to achieve your own unique goals. Back when Dr. Lauren Daly and I ran interdisciplinary studies, we had a student who wanted to be a medical illustrator for textbooks. So we helped her get art classes and biology classes, and she graduated as like the most prepared person in history to be able to go and accomplish exactly that career. We helped a ton of future pastors take theology classes so they were ready for seminary, and business classes so they could balance the budget at a church. So these Chipotle Chipotle majors help people accomplish unique goals that the rest of the school's curriculum just kind of ignores. Second positive, Chipotle majors are nine times out of 10 the fastest way to graduate. So if you've got a bunch of previous experience or, or credit from another school, or you just need a bachelor's degree to get a promotion really fast, chances are this is a degree you should consider. Third positive, consider that after graduation, 85% of people are working in fields that have nothing to do with their major. And that's because most jobs just want a bachelor's degree any bachelor's degree. So as long as your job is one of those, it doesn't matter if you have liberal studies or basket weaving or horseback riding. Fourth positive, Chipotle degrees are excellent preparation for master's programs. I don't even think 10% of master's degrees want to see a specific major from your undergrad to get into their program. Some of them are looking for a few specific classes or a, a broad category of majors. And a lot of them just want to see that you have a bachelor's degree with a good GPA. So you can take whatever classes you want in undergrad while you prep for the master's. And guess what? Once you have a master's degree, no one gives a shit about your undergrad. And despite all of these positives, people still go to listicles and see that computer science makes more than liberal studies. Therefore, ooh, liberal studies, bad. Computer science, good. So let's respond to the negatives. Chipotle majors aren't real degrees. You'll never get a job. You'll never make money. And the people who say this tend to have two things in common. One, they don't know anything about liberal studies. And two, they don't know anything about career coaching besides, hey, Go make lots of money. And don't get me wrong, these people are usually very smart and very well-intentioned. They just don't know a whole lot about Chipotle majors. So I'm gonna show you three things that people usually get wrong about Chipotle majors and liberal studies, and we're gonna start with salary projections. Gasp! According to ZipRecruiter, liberal studies majors are only gonna make an average of $55,000 per year. But let me explain why this stat is garbage and why it's so hard to predict these kinds of salaries. First, if you look up average bachelor's degree salaries on ZipRecruiter, it's $59,000, only $4,000 more than liberal studies, which is honestly insignificant, but the people who show you the first stat never seem to go and do the research to benchmark by the second stat. Plus, an actually reliable source, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, says that the median salary for a bachelor's degree is actually $77,000, which is a whole lot more than what ZipRecruiter is saying. And that's because ZipRecruiter focuses on entry and low level type jobs. You cannot just Google average salary take the first website that you see and just believe that that's the stat. Like you need to do some actual research. I did some research and according to this professional study, general studies majors actually have a median starting salary of $50,000. That's starting, not career average. There is plenty of room to go up from there. Second, 
don't trust averages when you're researching salary stats. People who know what they're doing use a median, which is basically the salary that's between the top half and the bottom half of salaries. And that's because a few really high paying jobs can skew the average considerably. Third, look at the distribution curves. The bachelor's degree curve is nice and smooth because they have lots of data to pull from, but the one for liberal studies is very bumpy and up and down, and that shows that they don't actually have enough reliable data to base this on. Any serious statistician who saw this stat would be like, um, no, I'll wait until we find better evidence of anything. Plus, if you actually dig deeper into ZipRecruiter's methodology and look at job postings that mention liberal studies, they usually mention like 15 other degrees and it's because they're just keyword stuffing. No one has any idea what the actual average salary for liberal studies is. And finally, just to show you how little you should trust these average salary predictions that you find in random places on the internet. Here's the average salary for interdisciplinary studies, which is quite high. They're basically liberal studies degrees, but apparently they make $16,000 more than the average bachelor's degree. Oh, and here's general studies, which makes $92,000 per year. Hmm, I guess based on this data that is totally reliable, we should go and only get general studies degrees. Now this is very elementary career coaching stuff, but I need you to remember to never base your future salary projections on the major you get, but rather on the job that you are aiming for. Plan backwards from where you want to be, and if that place is a lot of money and a liberal studies degree checks all the boxes, rock and roll, baby. Now let's talk about how liberal studies always seem to come last in tier rankings and listicles. You know, it's funny how the people who you hear bashing Chipotle majors never seem to have Chipotle majors or never ran large university departments focused on Chipotle majors. On the other hand, College Hacks chief advisor, Dr. Lauren Daly, she had an interdisciplinary studies degree, which she used to successfully get accepted into several medical schools to go get a master's in biomed and to eventually end up with a PhD. And I ran the largest Chipotle major department in the world and I have helped and seen hundreds and thousands of students accomplish their goals with Chipotle degrees. So now let's hear from somebody who has done neither. My good buddy, Shane Hummus, who is an awesome guy, has great resources here on YouTube, but he is wrong about Chipotle majors. In his bachelor's degree tier list, he gives liberal studies an F. He writes it off as a meme, but doesn't explain why. And surprise, surprise, a degree based on customizability, flexibility, and unique niche plans doesn't really fit into his preconceived metrics. It honestly hurts that he doesn't bother to explain why it's ridiculous to pick a major that's perfect for people who are preparing for grad school, have a ton of transfer credits, need a quick promotion, have a unique career goal or just need a degree any degree really fast to hit their their stuff but apparently this is this is all dumb and let's be honest if a lazy 18 year old comes along and picks a liberal studies degree because they just don't want to bother to commit to anything and want to try to get away with the easiest thing they possibly can then sure that's not going to work for them but the same goes for any major that they might choose and that's what people don't get and and it's why we say that the major doesn't make the student, the student makes the major as long as they have a plan. In another video about the difficulty of different majors, Shane gives interdisciplinary studies an F because apparently it's so easy because everybody who picks interdisciplinary studies degrees only picks easy classes. Sure, some people do, and Chipotle majors can be easy, but A, for some people, that's a really good thing, and B, you cannot categorize these all into one slot because every single person's Chipotle major is different. Nobody puts baby in a corner. When Dr. Lauren Daly got her interdisciplinary studies degree, she took very difficult biology, chemistry, and psychology classes so that she would be ready for med school. I've helped plenty of people use interdisciplinary studies to get into law school. Like people are going into challenging areas and they're taking challenging courses in these degrees. You cannot just say a one size fits all. And finally from Shane, who honestly guys, really is a great guy, you should go check him out. He ranks general studies as the 10th most worthless major, but he won't explain why. Apparently it's too painful to talk about. And that is YouTuber code for, I didn't research this, I don't understand this major, but I saw some memes. Apparently everyone agrees that this degree sucks and if you question it, you're dumb. Bottom line, you cannot easily categorize Chipotle majors because they are used for so many different purposes. And most rankers don't have the work experience, they haven't gotten the degree themselves or they haven't done the research to fully understand how this degree works. And that brings us to my final rebuttal. Let's talk about selection bias. Different people pick different different degrees for different reasons. Are we surprised that computer science majors make more than arts majors? No, but that's because arts majors don't want to program computers. They're the kind of people who, surprise, surprise, want to make art and they know it pays less, but they have a larger career goal. The same goes for Chipotle majors. The people who pick them have unique goals too. But go on, 
ask me how I know who picks Chipotle majors and what kind of careers they want to go into. Go on. It's because I ran the world's largest Chipotle degree and taught thousands of interdisciplinary studies students. And what I have learned with that extensive bit of knowledge is that you have to split Chipotle majors by the reasons that they're going into the degree program. Sure, some 18 year olds pick it just so they can take easy classes, but that is a tiny minority. Most people who want to just get out of hard academic work and just get a degree go for business or psychology or communications or sports management, whatever the heck that is. Another big group is stay at home parents who dropped out to get married or pursue a career. And now they're going back just to be able to say they finished their degree. Or we have a lot of retirees who are trying to finish off a lifetime achievement. They've got transfer credits for a degree that doesn't exist anymore. So they transfer it in here and they try to graduate pretty quickly. And those three groups are fine, but they tend to bring the salary projections for a major down. When we factor them out, we are left with a very serious minded career focus focused group of individuals who are picking this because they are trying to achieve a specific goal. But listicles just look at the average of this large category degree and say, oh, they don't make enough money and it scares people off. And I would argue that the kind of person who's thinking so strategically about college that they recognize the value of a totally customizable degree program that fits into their strategic long-term goal, those people are probably gonna make slightly more money than the average. But even that's not because of what the major is, it's about the type of person they are. And that's the thing that we have to realize is that the type of person who goes into a major for specific types of reasons is way more predictive of how much money they're going to make than the words on their diploma. And liberal studies contains all sorts. We have, you know, low achievers. We have people who are just doing personal achievement stuff. And then we have some really serious minded career focused people with strategic plans and visions, visions which I've already listed many times already in this video. And that is why major rankings and listicles are so dangerous. They only factor results, they don't factor the inputs. So if you want maximum career building efficiency, look at your goal and plan backwards from there. If you have to have a computer science degree, go get one of those. But if you can accomplish your goals with liberal studies, great, you're going to graduate earlier than everybody else and you're going to save more money than everybody else. But please don't let lazy tier lists and fear mongering and bad research and, and all this kind of stuff keep you from something that might actually be exactly what you need. It might not be a good option for you, but it could also be one of the most amazing things that happens to you. Saving money, saving time, and having more flexibility to pick classes that you actually enjoy taking. Finally, remember that salary is not the only metric for a successful career. If all you're thinking about is money, I guarantee you're gonna burn out. I've met with too many students and clients who that was how they measured everything. Will I make more money? Will I make more money? And guess what? Usually within about five years, they're all back at the drawing board trying to figure out the next big thing. So know yourself, know where you wanna be, and build a backwards plan to get there. And if a Chipotle major checks those boxes and gets you there, I say go for it. And if you want help setting that goal, building that plan, picking the major, picking the college, figuring out what classes you can hack, all that good stuff, check out the link in the description for a consultation with us. We'd love to work with you. Thank you for watching and my salute to every Chipotle major out there who ignored the haters and the doubters, set their goals, kept their plan, and made it happen and who is just rocking it right now. Thanks again. Happy hacking.